Several people have sent this one in. I'll read this question sent to CourtneyDriveThru at gmail.com from Tony in Sevierville, Tennessee. Sevierville. What did I say? You said Sevierville. Sevierville. Let's see how severe it's right, question it's, is. It's right next to Pigeon Forge, down the road from Dollywood, and a little bit further away from Gatlinburg. Hello, Jim and Brian. Hope all is well. I would love to hear your thoughts on the recent article about Noelle Foley being upset at The Undertaker for not mentioning her father, Mick Foley, <laughs> during his Hall of Fame speech. I myself thought it was a puzzling, excuse me, thought it, thought it was puzzling and can understand her frustration. I'm a huge fan of both Mick and The Undertaker. However, I myself would have loved to hear what he would say during his speech about their time in the business together. It's a clunky sentence because it's capitalized in the middle of it for no reason. <laughs> Anyways, hope all is well with both of you. Stay safe and best of health to you and your families. Thank you, Tony. But have you seen anything about this? And I have a the actual tweet here. Well, actually, no. I mean, we remarked uh, at the time when we reviewed the Hall of Fame that I said he didn't mention Mick. And that was, you know, when... A number of people I've seen mention that he didn't mention Mick. And, you know, people say, well, it's, you know, live TV, the awards. I think, um, wasn't it Cactus? Somebody said that Cactus forgot to thank his wife on that's, his speech. That's what his daughter actually said. To be fair, my dad did forget to mention my mom in his whole <laughs> fame speech. But the, the point is, I I would thought that would have been, even if he wasn't there as a visual reminder, when anybody thinks about great WWF moments, Undertaker, Mankind, Hell in a Cell, that's one of the, I mean, Undertaker had a lot of high points, but that has to be one of the most memorable. So I just, I was like, and they, they, they were matched together perfectly and it, they went back to it uh, on several different occasions. So that was puzzling to me, but I thought maybe just an accidental omission. What did Noel say? Well, what she said on social media was, that was a great speech, but I'm very surprised there was not one single mention of my dad and their legendary matches together. Obviously, I understand it's difficult to fit everything into one speech and remember every single person you wanted to mention, but it just would have been really nice to hear my dad's name mentioned. Well, yeah, and she's not, uh, she's correct, and she's not being impolite or confrontational or whatever about it, and that's, I mean... It, Maybe Taker feels bad that he just blanked and didn't. I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't be hard to fit everything in that speech he gave. He spoke for an hour, for fuck's sake. Um, I don't think anybody was wrapping him up. You raised the question at the time, I think, did, is Mick on the outs with the WWE? I can't imagine they would have told The Undertaker not to mention Mick Foley's name. Stranger things have happened. But maybe, maybe it just was an oversight, but I'm thinking, God, that's a big... Blank. That's like me forgetting to mention the Rock and Roll Express. Jim, our next question sent to Corny Drive Through at gmail.com from Jordan, Manchester, England. There has been a renewed interest and fascination amongst the wrestling fans by the bizarre WrestleMania 15 Rage Party. Vince dancing awkwardly to chocolate salty balls. <laughs> Shane seemingly drunk out of his mind. Stone Cold, arguing with crew members, strange stooge comedy bits, the whole thing looks like a nightmare and feels incredibly cursed. Does Jim have any memories or stories from this event? 15 was in 1999 or 2000. 99, I believe. Um, where, 98 was with uh, Austin and Tyson in Boston. Where was 99? I don't know. <laughs> Off the well, top of my head. Let me well, you out. got a Google machine in front of you, don't you? The point is, WrestleMania 99 was in, I guess, the either the, obviously, they usually are the last weekend of March or the first weekend of April. And I already had just had made plans. Philadelphia. Okay, Philadelphia. I had just made plans. I was going to be moving to Louisville. July the 1st. This was known to me at that point. I believe I'd already mentally checked out. I remember going out with Dennis Coraluzzo and uh, 
and eating after that event because we were in Philly, but uh, I don't remember what was on that fucking show. <laughs> I really don't. What What was the question again? It was about this party for WrestleMania that I don't remember either. So if you don't remember it and I don't remember I, it, you know, I think that's the yeah, end of the question. I mean, they were right in the middle. This was six months before shit stain would, you know, turn tail and run and, and fuck Vince around and run off without telling him in person. And they were in the middle of just all the, they were lost in the weeds of the attitude era at that point. So they're probably anything could happen. Maybe they were doing Mexican black tar heroin on camera. I don't know. <laughs> 